Oh hi everyone, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. So today is the start of Boosters and Brews, a new segment uh, on the channel, trying out something different with just really quick deck tech. So rather than spending the usual sort of 20 minutes trudging through all the cards, thought we'd just quickly go through what I'm playing now. Uh, so we've got the deck all ready to go, we'll have a quick flick through and then we're going to crack a booster each uh, time we do it. So this week, to kick things off for the new series, we've got a special one, the uh, Ixalan Treasure Chest Buy Box promo. So hopefully we'll get some juicy cards going on in there. Uh, so without further ado, because this is a quick deck tech, let's get zoomed in on the main deck, uh, put the mana base to one side for now. Hopefully the glare won't be too bad. So this is an Orzov uh, horse deck, basically, and it's what I've been running at um, Standard Showdown for the past uh, few weeks. I really enjoy playing it, uh, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. Main card is Crested Sunmare, five mana for a five five, gives other horses indestructible. At the beginning of each end step, if you gained life this turn, create a 5-5 five, five horse token, uh, so any turn, so yours or your opponent's, if you've gained life, you get a token, so that's pretty important to remember when looking through the deck. So we've got full play set of those, obviously. Anointed Procession, because why not? Let's create double the amount of horses uh, off of each life gain trigger, so that's absolutely awesome, and we've got four of, of those. Then ways to gain life. So authority of the consoles, uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under the opponent's control, you gain a life. So every time they play a creature on their turn, you're triggering and getting an a horse. So three of those. We've also got the trespassers curse. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under a enchanted player's control, they lose a life and you gain a life. So that's again, triggering enough creatures to gain life, which is awesome. And then onto our creatures. So we're running Sacred Cat, it's got lifelink, and we've got three of those, and the Embalm works with the Anointed Procession as well. So quite a handy creature, three of. Glory Band Initiate, uh, you can exert it, and it turns into a 4-4 lifelinker. And we're playing a full play set of those. Campbell, Console of Allocation, whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, they lose two life, you gain two life. Uh, only two off, because he is legendary. And then the final creature, we've got four of, Aerial Responder, uh, Flying Vigilance, Lifelink 2-3, uh, only flyer in the deck, so pretty handy to have. Uh, so we're going to be gaining tons and tons of life, hopefully we're not going to be losing too much life from creatures attacking us. So if we've got surplus of life, uh, we can pay two, pay two life and draw a card uh, with some Argyle's Bloodfast. Experimenting with three of, it is legendary, so you can't have too many down. Uh, well, you can only have one down, uh, <laughs> but yeah, seeing how three goes. Uh, then we're on to removal. So fatal push uh, as a four of. Got cast out, a two of, and then we just got a single fumigate. Uh, there are quite a few other token decks going on at the moment. There's uh, black white vampires, so that's quite handy just to have one in there so you don't have to wait till sideboard. Uh, mana base is really straightforward, so we've got three concealed courtyards. Uh, the only reason it's not four is because I don't own a fourth one. Uh, we've got a field of ruin, just in case we need to remove any troublesome lands, uh, any flip lands or things like that at the moment. And we've got a scavenger ground, uh, exiling graveyards for all the amount of God Pharaoh's gift that's come back since everyone's uh, copying the Pro Tour. Then on to the rest, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 planes. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 swamps. Uh, just because there is more white in our early game and we've got some quite heavy sort of white casting costs going on in there. Just as an aside, so yeah, normally I like to have all of my lands uh, matching and stuff. Um, but yeah, I haven't quite got around to that yet. I really like those uh, planes uh, from Ixalan and the dream is to uh, have all of them altered. I've started altering cards, uh, so yeah, extending the borders out. So that's a work in progress, nowhere near finished. So please don't say, oh my God, that looks crap. Um, yeah, work in progress. Then onto the sideboard, so we've got uh, Lost Legacy as a three of uh, for moving problem creatures before they even hit the board. We've got 
another two fumigates just to back up the board white plan you also gain life which is pretty handy so you're getting horse triggers off of that we've got three solemnities because there are still a lot of energy decks going around there's also sort of merfolk counters as well happening at the moment so that card uh, saves lives We've got a couple of dispossesses just to stop the God Pharaoh's gift um, before it even hits the board. Decommissions to take care of anyone else's enchantments. Maybe someone else is running an anointed possession deck, uh, so that's pretty handy. The finishing off the play set of the cast outs and then one walk the plank as well, just in case uh, anyone casts anything super big, um, a big bomb, uh, then we can take care of that. So let's cut away and we'll get cracking on the booster. So we're back and the Biobox Ixalan Treasure Chest Booster is basically like a standard showdown booster but better and yeah really excited for this you had to buy a box from Black Friday onwards and it could be for any uh, standard legal set it was just going to be Ixalan but they expanded it and also any uh, sort of supplementary set so I bought a box of Unstable well pre-ordered so we'll be cracking that on the channel soon and yeah this has got alternate art flip lands in it, uh, which is one of the main draws uh, for getting it. So I'm not doing too well with opening the pack. So let's see what we've got. So we've got an Emperor's Vanguard from Ixalan. We've got a Consulate Crackdown, Irrigated Farmland, uh, possibly one of the most boring card names in the world. We've got a Barrel's Expertise. Would be nice to have a man himself. Pia's Revolution. Ixalan's Binding is a lovely foil with that, uh, what is now people imagining an Azorius um, sign above his head. We've got a foil Rebecca Gay Swamp. Lovely, going in the collection. And the forest, the forest is absolutely amazing. Just the trees, they look translucent. It's just lush. And what flip did we get? Oh, advances, blasting cannons. Oh, well. Uh, so, yeah, normal art on the front, um, except it's got the Ixalan watermark on it. And then it flips over into Spitfire Bastion, and it's uh, part of the map of Ixalan where the Bastion is. So, yeah, that's lush. Cool. So, yeah, not bad for a freebie from buying a pack. Uh, can't complain at all. Would have liked uh, maybe a cradle or something like that because that would have been useful in the decks I'm building. Um, but oh well. So yeah, that was Brewsters and Booze, guys. Uh, Brewsters and Brews. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> not getting my words out right. Trying to rush through this so that it's a shorter video. It's not that easy, it turns out, doing quick deck techs. But gave it my best and we'll come back with another one fairly soon. And another booster of something different to open. Cheers for watching guys, uh, feel free to drop a comment uh, down below, subscribe if you haven't, really means a lot, everyone that does, and yeah, catch you on the next one, bye!